Hey guys, I'm Doug, playing drums with Nightlights, and uh, I'm going to show you some gear today. Um, I'm playing obviously acoustic drum kit, but I like to mix in some uh, electronic elements as you do these days, I guess, and just in order to play our music too. This is pretty uh, central, it's the SPDSX, kind of everyone's using it these days. I playing, kind of going between playing some, let's say a verse, has like a distinct groove, like on this itself and then I might add it in for like percussion elements and stuff like that too. Um, I'm actually running tracks with um, through Ableton so I'm, I'm triggering those and uh, how I do that is with this boss pedal it's called the foot switch 6 um, and I run that into this because it has a foot switch in and I'm setting up uh, setting it up to send um, MIDI to Ableton. So I have a USB cable going to the laptop, which um, triggering tracks in Ableton. So I'm just, this one is kind of just going to next song, pretty easy. Um, and then we, you know, we have a count in in our ears, seeing what song it is. And song starts that way. If I for some reason need to stop anything at any point, let's say sound check or whatever, press that guy, stops everything. Also use triggers on my drums. So I got um, just got one here, but the other one is on the kit right now. Um, it's a uh, trigger by Roland. Uh, it's called the KT R. What is it? RT 30 HR. So it stands for head rim. So it has like it's a dual trigger. Triggers both the rim and the head, which is cool. So I'm using those to layer up my snare sounds, get a real fat sound. Also one on the kick. Um, doing the same thing on the kick for some songs. Um, what else? What else we got? I got... We all run in-ears. We have an in-ear rig on stage. Uh, we can all control those with our iPhones, iPads, whatever, which is great. Especially um, when you're on tour and um, yeah, just easy. You have the same sound every night. Sounds great. Um, I use Ultimate Ears. Those are UE 11s, great for drummers and bass players. Got that extra low end punch. Um, what else? My snare drum. It's a good old uh, Ludwig drum. I believe it's like a it's from '69. It's a super superphonic. March Chiefs drum in like you know since 1969. <laughs> I love it. Sounds fat. Sounds punchy. So when it comes to drum heads, I like to you know experiment and kind of try new things. Um, on this drum in particular, actually I found that just a regular Ambassador uh, works great. It's a thinner head, um, but then I like to kill some of the overtones with you know either, either tape, um, moon gels, or even uh, on this tour, I've been trying out like a few different um, things as well. We, we kind of, we've been sharing a lot of gear, me and the drummer of Mako, since we're on this tour together, we're, we're support for Mako, and we're good friends, so it's kind of, we can kind of try out new things and, and stuff like that, so that's really cool. My kit I've been playing for years now is a Ludwig kit, uh, it's a vintage kit, so it's from 68, 69, same as the snare drum, uh, it's like a blue oyster finish, so pretty classic, like a... I believe Ringo from Beatles had like a similar, similar kind of finish. Um, sounds great. It has like a third. It's like a rock size. It's a 13 inch um, rack tom, 16 for 22 kick. I, th I think it's 22 by 16. And then uh, snare drum is 14 by five and a half. I believe. I also like to use deep, deeper snares. It just depends on where we're playing and stuff. In the studio, I would often use a. Uh, Old Rogers drum, it's an old marching drum. I I changed, put on new hardware, so now I can kind of tune it up like an actual snare drum. Uh, that's like the deepest snare drum I ever had. It's a 10, 10 inches deep, so 10 by 14. Uh, cymbals, I'm playing um, right now. Kind of for this tour, we're keeping it simple. So like have a just a ride and a, and a crash. I have a K22 light ride, a 19 inch crash by Mino. Uh, it's like an extra dry, I believe. Um, and then the hats are actually two crashes, 16, 16 inch crashes. It's a, a, a Z Custom, a medium thin bottom 
uh, crash for the like the bottom symbol, and then the top is a a Rizzo, I believe. I'm not sure if it's even made anymore, but that's by Siljan as well. So yeah, in Nightlights we are kind of producing all the stuff we do ourselves. We sometimes we work with other producers too, but we uh, we like to recreate the same sounds live. So our bass player now he's uh, running the uh, the bass rig, the keyboard controller into Ableton as well, and we have. Uh, one of our favorite plugins we use a lot is the uh, Tell You, you know, LX, I believe it's called. By, um, it's kind of recreating a, a Juno 60. Uh, I use that a lot. Other than that, we like to we use like lush reverbs and, and that kind of thing as well. Valhalla is great to put on some, some of the sounds we have. Uh, and it's all, yeah, enabled to basically. Um, thanks for checking all my gear out. Uh, we, um, yeah, I'm playing in Nightlights as I said earlier, and you can check us out on um, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. It's all the same, we are Nightlights.